Welcome back to his mom's garage. Welcome back to this clown's garage. In this video, I will show you how to fix some really boogered up threads. So the problem I was having here is this stud is very, very worn down and there's a knob that goes here and it doesn't grab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this down with a die one size smaller and I'm going to put a thread insert on the knob. So this is the knob that goes on there and it's pretty tight on a 716-20 thread and let me show you what this looks like on the car now when you try to put it on it goes almost all the way in without even catching a thread so that's a problem so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down to 3 8 over here instead of 7 16 which is a 16 uh, smaller so I'm gonna cut that with the die and then put the thread insert on this so this is the die we're gonna use we're going down to 3 8 uh, 16 and go ahead and put this on now Put a little tap magic on these threads over here and we're going to turn this down. There's an open side, like a tapered side, so the, the open end goes right on it. Try to catch it and try to go as straight as possible. So I got started put some pressure on this and the key here is to try to get it straight on there just turn it on alright so I got it to bite I did cheat a little bit because it, would, it was really hard to bite so what I did was I took the whiz wheel and I grinded down the threads a little bit just to make it a little smaller so this thing could bite so now it bit so I'm just gonna take her home All right, so I think we're good. And there she is, the new threads. So these are the threads. So this is what they look like. And I'm going to see if this insert's going to work. And it looks like it will. So we're in good shape here, folks. So again, for the knob here, uh, the threads that came with this were 7 sixteenths. But I have to put 3 eighths, which is a sixteenth smaller. So this big shirt is great for that. It's smaller thread here than what's here. And the bushing is so thick where you can just drill it and insert this. And you're good to go with a smaller thread size. So I'm going to put the link in the description below where to get this kit. This is the big shirt kit. Now this isn't, this isn't a regular thread insert from ThreadCert. Um, this is a bigger bushing. This is to repair, say, say you have a helical in there that's already screwed up and you want, and you want to drill that out this is what you get. So this is to repair anything that's damaged. Uh, but in this case, it works down perfectly if you want to go down a size. So it comes with these five bushings. It comes with a drill. It comes with pretty much everything you need. It comes with a counter bore to give it a little bit of a lip so, you, so this could go down a little bit underneath the surface that you're drilling. Then you have the tap to tap for the bushing and then you have the insert that goes on here to install it so let's begin drilling this thing first I want to check the depth here and that's our depth and as you can see there's a lot of area underneath that bushing when it goes in um, so what I'm going to do here so I'm, drill past this depth is I'm going to put a piece of tape right here so I know where to stop. It's going to be right there. So let's straighten that out. Perfect. Put some tap magic aka butter sauce, clown juice right here and drill her all the way in baby and I think we're there yep we're good now this is a counter bore tool 
um, you're so only supposed to drill up to here so it's very it goes in very slightly about a sixteenth of an inch just so when you put the bushing in it seats flush now this be very careful because you could break that those teeth go very lightly on this Alright, there you go. That's done. Okay, so I put some tap magic on this tap over here. Now try to get it straight in the hole. And turn it down. And there she is. And my camera goes very perceptive. She said I put the lube on the shaft instead of the hole. Oh so. yeah, wow. That's the way I prefer, Brianna. Anything you want, Brianna. All right, now since this is a blind hole, I'm gonna take out the tap. I'm gonna blow it out with some compressed air. And the threads look pretty good. I might just go one more round all the way down with the tap and call it done. Okay, now I'm gonna use this insert tool. A little bit of mortar oil or engine oil, whatever you prefer, on here. Thread that into the insert. And this is how it goes. There's a little pin in here, as you can see, it's a little divot with a pin. So the point is this has to go past this, and as it does, it's gonna push this pin out and to lock into the thread into the other threads on the two, on the on the knob that I have there. Now over here they want you to put some Loctite, so I'm going to put some red thread locker over here. And now insert this baby. She's going in Brianna. Um, it's also a good idea to put some tape over here to see so you don't bottom out here because this is a blind hole, it doesn't pass through. But I could gauge where it's gonna stop. Okay, so it feels good there. Now I'm just gonna take this out. There she is, folks. She's already. And look at that. Now. We could screw this on. It's nice and tight. That's what I'm talking about. So that's how you could fix a stud and threads to go a size smaller if you need to. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel. Like me and share me. See ya!